and ladies, welcome back to Cartoon Hangout, your place for all things cartoon, and also the final video of Scooby Universe. Today's video is going to be about Season 2, Episode 13 of Beacon Scooby-Doo, Silver Scream, where the gang find themselves at the heart of a mystery and a film studio involving the revival of an old black and white film and its angry ghost lead actor. In contrast to my previous review, my feelings on Silver Scream are a tad more subdued. Like, I love to say constantly, it's not as if it's bad, I just wasn't overly as thrilled with it. The opening is decent, silly, but certainly no episode 12, and the rest of the episode is rather okay. It's not the first time the characters have explored a film studio for a plot, and while being around for decades means having repeat settings, of course, they can usually spice things up by just making the episode or the movie fun. This time it was about as average as possible. My main complaint, if it can even be considered a big one, is I don't personally, please note that word, by the way, feel like enough was done with the concept. The villain of the episode is great, how he has this grainy film quality effect over him, which in Scooby-Doo fashion never gets explained, and that he looks like he leapt out of a silent picture. He even has those dialogue cards that you'd see back in that era when he screams, which is actually why I felt like the concept wasn't fully utilized. There's maybe one or two moments in the episode where that comes into play, but most of the time when Archie shows up to scare the characters, it doesn't really come with anything related to the silent movie aspect of his design. Maybe I'm asking too much here, but I think he could have worked that more into his time on screen, or even just the chase scene. Uh, dumb idea, but maybe the chase scene could have been in black and white, in a gang, engaging in some old school slapstick comedy. I don't know. Now, concerning Daphne, uh, this episode's bit with her was, um, alright, I suppose. It certainly isn't her worst, nor her best, it was just average. She decides to become a tour guide during the mystery, narrating what they're seeing, or what they will see. Uh, there are some funny parts in the episode, like when the gang is hidden and she speaks, scaring Scoob and Shaggy, but uh, otherwise it really wasn't much to write home about. Uh, if anything, her best line was when the gang was lounging around, defeated, but she gets cut off by Fred. Some standout scenes were the gang watching the executive meddled with final film of Archie Barnes for being so over-the-top hilarious, as well as probably something modern-day executives would probably do. I know, I've read about a ton of meddling on TV tropes for some reason. And the scene of Shaggy trying to describe the made-up film scene Archie's meant to be in, in order to allow him and Scooby-Doo to flee. I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, honestly, in conclusion, uh, Silver Scream is more of a typical Scooby-Doo episode than anything outstanding like I've come to expect from Be Cool Scooby-Doo. It's nowhere close to bad, but it's difficult to sit here and think of how to praise it either. If I had to place it anywhere, I would imagine it would be among the lowest episodes if I ranked the show. Uh, season 2 started off strong as far as I remember, but this middle section of episodes seems like it could be losing steam i'm not quite sure uh, let's hope the next episode knocks my socks off with that said this is going to be it for my review and the closing out of scooby universe this year i know there wasn't a ton of content but when i started plans for this year's scooby month i made sure i reined myself in a bit i knew if i tried to over schedule a ton of videos i would fall behind massively and even with the few videos I did do, I technically did that anyways. So, hey, at least I know my limits by now. Uh, unfortunately, I did have to drop plans for a movie review, uh, mostly for time, but also because of work. And I'm actually starting to get sick. I don't know if you've been able to tell it in my voice. So, yeah, I wasn't able to do that. But maybe you'll see that later in the year since Scooby Universe content isn't restricted to just one month a year anymore. Anyways, chime in with the usual down below, hit subscribe and the bell button for more reviews, and I'll catch you lords and ladies again soon. Thanks for watching, and take care.